Imagine in a small uh, co-sharing place with other people, and uh, there are people coming and going every once in a while, but we only have three physical keys. So it's hard to get uh, into the office um, if, yeah, in general. It, it, it's, it's a headache. Um, so what we did is uh, we hooked up a Raspberry Pi to the Wi-Fi, to the office Wi-Fi, and um, some, some pins to the, to the motor of, um, of our door lock. Uh, so basically, when you are in front of the door, you get uh, your laptop or your phone, and then you can like call a bookmark. And this is basically a link with some tokens, personalized token, and it will trigger the, some CGI script on the web server of the Raspberry Pi in the cupboard. And then the, 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 the motor will turn, and voila, you're in, uh, in, your of, in the office. And uh, yeah, but there was one problem. Um, the link was um, HTTPS, which is good. Everyone know, knows that. It's, it's green and nice. Um, but um, so we had some DNS issues, because uh, the link was basically a DNS. Um, a domain name uh, that was resolved um, over the internet, and then you get back a local IP address and of the Raspberry Pi, and okay, the web server, the CGI script gets triggered, it works, but at some point it didn't work anymore, um, and that was a problem. You, now you would say, okay, let's just enter instead of the domain the IP address, but then on most uh, Android phones and iPhones, then the IP address, of course, didn't match uh, the name of uh, the dom domain inside the HTTPS certificate. So that didn't work very good, at least on, not on my phone. So every day when I arrived in the office, and I was the first one and I didn't want to knock, what was, was, uh, what was happening is I sit on the, on, on the, in front of the door, get out of my laptop out because uh, it worked there with the browser, and uh, browser up, and uh, then logging into the Wi-Fi, and um, yeah, so that worked, but it was tedious. Um, so every time I came in, it was like with my laptop in my hand, and so I thought, okay, there must be something, something better. So I remembered, okay, I was living uh, like two years ago in uh, in Augsburg, and there's a hacker space, and they have a similar system. And they have an app for that. So it's basically an app that uh, you install in Android, and it has a hard-coded link for, for this specific door of the hacker space in Augsburg, uh, where I was living once, in a while, once well, some time ago. And um, yeah, um, I thought, OK, I can maybe like uh, enter the, the URL for, for, my, for our office, and everything is good. Um, and I can also modify the code to, to ignore HTTPS um, security issues. Uh, OK, this is a bad idea, but we don't have a better idea right now. And so, OK, I took the app. Um, it was uh, called uh, Sphincter, which was, um, yeah, uh, the people there have, have a nice humor. For those who don't know, Sphincter is the English name for, for the muscle that controls the uh, outflow of poo in the toilet. Uh, never mind. Um, <coughs> so, uh, yeah. So that was working, and I thought, OK. But the thing is, uh, something I haven't told you yet is we have two doors. And somebody else uh, thought, OK, um, there's, there's a pin also, I mean, a cable from, from downstairs to the door to upstairs. Uh, and we can hook it up on the Raspberry Pi as well. And everything seemed to be good. But of course, uh, I wanted to ha don't have to have like two apps now. So I said, OK, I'm, I need to change the app to like, be able to configure multiple doors. Um, so basically, that's what I did. Uh, I learned Android development that way, the hard way, maybe. Um, so I started like a few months ago. And well, the end result is now I have uh, an app on F-Droid that where you can figure multiple doors, and I did overkill bits because not only can you um, use HTTPS links, but you, it can also call SSH. I mean, it can can SSH into like the Raspberry Pi of your door door mechanism and call a script to open the door because I was looking at. 
other apps uh, that were available, and I thought, okay, in Vienna, the MetaLab also has its own door, and there's a Xhine in, um, in Berlin, another hacker space, and that's where they do SSH, you log in with your key, and, and they also have an app, but every, most things are hard-coded, so I thought, okay, I take everything, it's open source, put it into the app, uh, generalize it, and tidy it up, and I put it on f -dot, and yeah, that's what I did. Um, now I have uh, way more features that I um, intentionally needed. Well, I, I don't need them uh, any, uh, anyway, but uh, now I also have Bluetooth support. Okay, that's that one I've never tested. But okay, um, so that's my, my small story. I now have an app on F-Droid. Everybody can download it. If you have a, like a hack space, co-working space that has like a custom built system or where you uh, do SSH to open the, your doors or HTTPS to open your doors, then this my app might help you. So yeah. Um, thank you for listening. That was my small story, how I did overkill getting in my office. And uh, yeah, it works. So thank you. Thank you.